So Comme des Garçons recently relaunched 10 of their discontinued fragrances. We're going to put this in the order of a top 10 list. We're also going to do a giveaway of these fragrances. Three sets, three sample sets to three subscribers of this channel coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click that bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And today I'm at ZGO Perfumery here in San Francisco in the Castro District and they happen to have the 10 olfactive library fragrances from Comme des Garçons and I asked them if I can come in and do a video and putting these fragrances in my favorite order. So we've got 10 fragrances in, which includes Tar, Sticky Cake, Eau de Cologne, Garage, Calamus, Nomad Tea, Soda, Sequoia, Lily, and Palisander. So we're going to put them in order and as mentioned at the beginning you are going to have a chance at winning a sample set of all 10 of these fragrances from Comme des Garçons, three lucky winners, and uh, stick around till the end so you can find out how to participate. But let's go ahead and get started. So there's 10 fragrances that were recently relaunched as mentioned. It's called the Olfactory Library. These 10 fragrances were in separate uh, collections of fragrances that got discontinued, and a lot of them I had never even smelled before. And one of them that I've been dying to smell is called Sequoia, and I did. And wait until you find out where I've got this fragrance. There's a few others in here that I really also like. One I actually own still, which is part of the red collection, Palisander but some of these I had never tried before. There was a green collection and so on. Obviously though, the incense collection, which is right up here, I don't know if you could see that, that uh, collection was never discontinued and I've owned Incense Avignon and Incense Zagorx from that collection, which are both excellent. Well, let's go ahead and get started with this list. At number 10, the fragrance I put in at number 10 in this new library is called Tar. Tar is here, as you can see, and it includes notes of town gas, vapors of bitumen, bergamot, earth notes, apopanax, styrax, grilled cigarettes, and pyrogenic notes. So let's go ahead and quickly smell this one. This is tar. Now I don't know if you like the idea of tar, but it's supposed to smell like tar, like a tar on the street or on the pavement. So this one smells very, very, uh, I don't know, like uh, earthy. Uh, it has gasoline kind of like a motor oil kind of a smell also. So I think it's basically tar that's laid out with car smells all mixed in. It's a very, very different kind of scent. That's why it's at the bottom here. And apparently it's very popular because it's uh, currently sold out at the store here, so they're waiting for a new shipment. So, tar, as I said, is very, very unique. It's completely different. It's not something that I like to wear a lot of, but once in a while to smell something like this is really, really fun. So, tar is at number 10. So, at number 9, the fragrance I put in at number 9 is called Garage. So, Garage is this one right here. And this has notes of laurel aldehyde, traces of kerosene, leather notes, plastic floral notes, vetiver acetate, and Chinese cedarwood. So this one's also another unique one. And it's not a very easy to wear fragrance for me, but this is another one of those that, are, that is currently sold out as well. So um, to me, this one reminds me of something I already have, um, but I won't mention here. Now, as you can see, both of these are part of the synthetic collection that was discontinued. So they had a collection called Synthetic, and they brought these two back. So it's the Series 6, which is Synthetic. And Incense is part of the Series 3, as you can see right here. So as far as the garage one goes, it's very garagey. Like this, 
it's, there's floral notes in there and I think it opens up, I think the very first thing that you smell is pretty um, intense, but it opens up, but it still smells like a car garage, the inside of a car when you open up the hood, the oil, the gunk that's there. But I think as it's drying down, it becomes sweeter and more beautiful. But still, it's not one of my favorite fragrances. I don't hate it, it's just not something I would personally wear. So, Garage is number nine. Okay, at number eight, I've got the fragrance called Eau de Cologne. That one is right here. And this is, it doesn't say what collection this was from, but there it is, Eau de Cologne. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, that all, all these fragrances are all these fragrances in the olfactive library are eau de toilette and they retail for $95 each and 50 ml and it's a pretty good deal I think and wait until you see the number one and number two and number three actually my top five is really good really love them so eau de cologne is number seven, uh, number eight now this is probably what it basically means it's just like it smells like an eau de cologne like think 4711 or something like that Traditionally, which is a cheapy, but, uh, but this one actually is a little different. It has notes of citrus, magnolia, freesia, and roses. I mean, it's nice, and it also doesn't come off as transparent and light as like a, a 4711 or that kind of an eau de cologne. Kind of seems a thicker, denser when you smell it, but still it's very fresh. So. It, it, I don't know, performance-wise, I don't know how this performs, but I think um, it, it'll perform better because it does smell a little thicker. So, I mean, I put it at number eight as I don't have too much experience with it, and it's Eau de Cologne, so I don't know if I really want to get Eau de Cologne from Comme des Garçons, but then again, this might be nice. That's why I put it in the bottom of the list. I'll have to play around with it. So, number eight is Eau de Cologne. All right, number seven. The fragrance I've put in at number seven is Sticky Cake from the Series 7 called Sweet. So if you like the idea of sticky cake, then you might like this. It sounds like it's going to be a gourmand, right? So it has notes of almond, honey, dates, pistachio, iris, milk, brown sugar infusion, and bread seeds, cereal notes, and myrrh. So it's a, it's like a, food recipe, like a cake recipe or something. And it's part of the, from the sweet collection that they brought back. To me, this is actually sweet, but it has like a, almost like a soapy quality. So it's, I mean, it's clean. It smells clean, but it's like a clean dessert, if that makes sense. So since it has that soapy quality or like a clean quality and it's almost like it's not like your tooth rottingly sweet, sugary, sticky cake, if that makes sense. I mean, I like this one. It's not my favorite, but I think I can totally wear this one. Unlike Tar and Garage, which are a little different for me to wear, I think I can pull this one off. It smells very fresh for a gourmand. I mean, I'm not saying fresh like citruses, just has this like clean vibe. So I don't know, maybe it's just the, my, my experience right now and it might react differently on my skin. But for now, at number seven is Sticky Cake from the sweet collection that they brought back from Comme des Garçons. All right, at number six, we're going with Nomad Tea. And, and that's part of the uh, sweet collection as well. And you know, tea, it's gonna be uh, tea-like. And for notes here, they've got wild mint, artemisia, geranium leaf, Burmese green tea leaves, white sugar, smoked woody notes. So let's go ahead and smell this one. Now this one is actually really, really good. I love the way this smells, but I like the other ones more, so they ended up beating uh, Nomad Tea, but this one's totally wearable. It's got that mint. It almost smells like Moroccan mint tea, but with all kinds of other uh, unique uh, touches. It almost seems like it's a fusion of um, wild, like mint tea, uh, plus maybe like uh, chamomile, like it's got like some dried flowers or something. Uh, maybe it's the geranium leaf acting like that way, but really, really beautiful. If you like a tea scent, you might really enjoy this one. So check out Nomad Tea, and that's at number six. All right, at number five, now we're getting to the good stuff. It's number 
five, and it is uh, calamus. It's part of the uh, series leaves, right here, as you can see. Now, calamus is really, really nice. Really, really nice. Totally wearable, and it's very green to me. And it's so fresh. There's also, it's almost like you're breaking off a stem from some kind of a flower. I'm not, you know, the stem of a flower or a tree or something. And you can smell the, the inside of that, the part that's not dry. You know how the stems are? It just smells like that. There's a bit of floral notes in here. But um, for notes here, you've got young bamboo leaf, celery grains, angelica root, and rose berries. So, you know, the smell of the rose. And I actually, come to think of it, now that it's, um, it's mentioned rose berries for the notes, it really does. Like sometimes you could, you could see the berries on the rose and those actually have a smell and they do have a very similar smell to the rose berries. So this one's really nice. I really like it. It's very green. Um, if you like green scents, this one's perfect, I think. So Calamus at number five. At number four is one I have currently in my collection. It's from the red collection. It's Palisander. And Palisander is right here. And I have this one in the red bottle. This series came in red uh, bottles. So Palisander is a wood, a kind of a wood. I think it's a Brazilian Palisander, which actually in the notes here, it says Brazilian Palisander wood, Virginian red cedar, Japanese red chili peppers, saffron from Iran, myrrh from South Yemen. So it's very woody. I, I love this one, a uh, dry woody. But you know what? Come to think of it, I do remember this. When I smelled it recently here and with my bottle, there's a little change in the smell, I think. And in fact, I kind of prefer this smell over the one I have in the red bottle. So they might have reformulated it or something, but I quite like this one. Brazilian palisander uh, wood is the note. So if you like woody scents, this one's gonna be one you might dig. But it's, it, all these scents have a comme de garçon kind of a vibe, so it, they're unique that way. So but palisander is number four. All right, at number three, we're going with Lily. This one's beautiful, I really love this one. So this is from the Leaves Collection, the series one. And this just smells like a lily, like lilies. Really, really beautiful. Um, but very green, it's a green flower. Oh boy, really, really nice. It's like Easter lilies is what I smell here, totally. Um, so for this, the notes are Lily of the Valley, Freesia, Green syring Syringa, and Dog Rosebuds, whatever those are. But really lovely, really, really lovely. It's floral, but not like, um, not like a very feminine floral fragrance. This is totally unisex, and I, this whole collection is very unisex to me. If not really masculine leaning with the garage and tar, but this one's really lovely, and it's number three, because I love number one and number two. A little more than this, but these are almost tied. So Lily is number three, as I said. So number two, we're going with Soda. And Soda is, uh, where is Soda? Right here, from the Synthetic collection that was discontinued at its number six collection. And just the thought of Soda is exciting, because I love that fizzy, bubbly, effervescent vibe from sodas. So this one's really good. So much fun. So there's notes of aldehydes, lime, citral, pimenol, liliol, iso eugenol, gal galaxolide, acetyl rum. Oh my god, I could totally wear this one. It's just awesome. It's a very, very fun fragrance. Happy uh, uplifting. So if you like that kind of stuff, very um, just a fun, quirky, a little kind of a fragrance soda is your cup of tea. Uh, a cup of soda, or I should say. So soda, lovely, lovely scent. Check it out. I, I really, really recommend this one. Well, last but not least, the number one is, of course, you might have guessed it if you know this collection, is Sequoia. Um, especially since we also live on the, I also live in the West Coast and we have lots of sequoia trees. And this is sequoia, it's part of the red collection and it was always not available when I was looking for it. So I'm glad they brought it back. Notes here are California Redwood, Red Rum, Apopanax, Karakarundi from Guinea, 
Chinese agarwood and mahogany. So, man, this one is just amazing. Like, totally, totally an amazing scent. Ooh. It's woody, but there's something sexy about this one. It's a, a woody scent, but very, very sexy, like sophisticated, not like your run-of-the-mill kind of woody scent, but just beautiful. Really, really sexy, beautiful wood. So, Sequoia. Check it out. I really, really recommend this one. Really, absolutely love it. And I think I might have to buy a bottle of this one because apparently they're running out really fast. So, so that's it. That's the collection in my order, my favorites order. Tar number 10, Garage number 9, Eau de Cologne number 8, Sticky Cake number 7, Nomad Tea number 6, Calamus number 5, Palisander number four, Lily number three, Soda number two, and Sequoia number one. Guys, have you tried this collection? Are you familiar with these fragrances? These are so unique, you should really definitely check them out. I think they'll blow your mind or you'd be like, wow, what am I smelling? Because they're really, really great scents. And the price is also really, really great. $95 for a 50 ml and Eau de Toilette. Very, very unique scents. You'll wear things that people will not know you're wearing. That's what I like about them. They're quirky, they're fun, dark, gothic, uh, kind of uh, maybe perhaps a little risque. It just really different scents that are totally worth uh, speaking about. So now's your chance to try them out and uh, try and win uh, a sample set of all 10, three winners thanks to ZGO. They're gonna go ahead and offer sample sets of all fragrance, all the fragrances to uh, three subscribers of this channel. Please make sure we can see your subscriptions if you are the winner, otherwise the next person will get the gift. Um, put a comment down below and put down what your weirdest scent is and what your favorite fragrance is currently. Also, please list your state. This is only available to USA subscribers, please. These are being shipped from uh, San Francisco here and they'll only go to USA subscribers. And good luck with that. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you get to check these fragrances out and uh, do um, purchase them. Uh, they're available here. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is that the three winners will also have a 15% discount to pick up any of the Comme des Garçons uh, fragrances from the samples you receive so you'll get that as well and there's also a generic uh, general discount code in below for anyone that wants to pick these up 10% off take advantage of it I'll have the info in the info box you can uh, get those codes there and guys I hope I really hope you check these fragrances out because I think they're really really unique uh, order your uh, bottles you get 10% off or order samples I think they do sell samples here at ZGO and they have a great, great collection of niche fragrances. I think this uh, store is becoming the niche fragrance destination in the city, and it's in the Castro. So uh, if you're visiting San Francisco, definitely do stop in. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.